Good morning, my friends. Happy Saturday to all of you. Lawmakers in Congress are now working on monthly relief payments, and these checks could begin going out to millions of Americans starting in just a few weeks. The Internal Revenue Service has also announced that some Americans can expect a large refund check very soon. Dear friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video. Also, I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, all you have to do is click in like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Remember, my friends, that the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. And uh, it's not an atomic secret around here that I very much enjoy working with our colleague from Indiana. We talk often about issues like health care and uh, economic uh, priorities. And I will just say that I wish we agreed on this one as well. Colleagues, the net effect of this proposal is to hobble the IRS and let the wealthiest in America get out of paying what they owe. And there's a lot to discuss here. And like Senator Braun, I'm going to keep this short. First, I think it is important to get at this back and forth between the political parties. I see the President of the Senate and the Chair, and he too has been interested in tax reform. And look, I'd be the first to say that the tax system in many respects is just broken, just a mess. Now, the debate with respect to the role of the parties needs to start with what happened in 2017. In 2017, we had the President's tax reform proposal. President Inflation has taken a humongous toll on Americans' finances in recent months. With the current inflation rate hovering above 8%, U.S. households are now paying a lot more for any and everything they purchase. As of mid-May, food prices were up nearly 10% year over year, and energy prices were up by over 30% nationally. Plus, the cost of all consumer goods are up by over 8%, which has even put more strain on the average American household budget. The high cost of consumer goods is never ideal, but it likely would have never been a little easier to bear last year when millions of low to moderate income Americans were still receiving monthly cash payments as part of the enhanced child tax credit payments. That money, which was issued from July to December of 2021, helped to fill bank accounts and provide a financial safety net for families who were in need. But there has been a renewed push by lawmakers to restart the expanded child tax credit benefits once again. A number of our lawmakers are currently pushing to make last year's expanded child tax credit permanent to expand the benefits at least for another year. This is why the country continues to weather the storm of inflation and many other crisis-related issues. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders took to the Senate floor to push back on what he called strange priorities by lawmakers. Bernie Sanders asked senators during his floor remarks to stop neglecting the initiatives that would help everyday Americans, including the expanded child tax credit, which had a significant impact on food insecurity, child poverty rates, and other financial hardships for low to moderate income households last year. So this is not the first time that Bernie Sanders has been vocal about the need to continue the expanded child tax credit benefits for millions of Americans. Sanders was one of many Democratic legislators who called for a continuance of the tax credit as part of the Build Back Better legislation last year. In a recent interview with CNBC News, Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown said that lawmakers were still working on it, and that was in reference to the expanded tax credit. Brown also noted that the response from the tax benefit was unlike anything that he had seen. Dear friends, should the expanded child tax credit payments be reinstated or should Congress help in other ways? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Now friends, here is a huge announcement by the Internal Revenue Service. The IRS will start paying 5% in guaranteed interest 
to individuals with delayed tax returns beginning this coming July. That is up a percentage point from last interest rate hike that took effect in April. In an official statement, the Internal Revenue Service stated that the agency will also pay 4% interest on delayed corporate tax returns, 5% on underpayments on tax returns, and 7% for large corporate underpayments. According to a Government Accountability Office report, the federal government regularly spends billions of dollars in interest on delayed returns. The IRS has paid out almost $14 billion in refund interest in the last seven fiscal years. The Government Accountability Office estimated that such payments totaled $3.3 billion in 2021 alone. The number of delayed returns still numbers in the tens of millions, having skyrocketed during the crisis as the IRS shut facilities and diverted resources to administer benefits like the child tax credit. But by law, the agency has 45 days to process a tax refund. The agency says it gets 90% of refunds issued within three weeks. Friends, the key word for this video is Key West. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click in like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Key West and additional keywords from other video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Republican Representative Tom Rice said during a House Ways and Means subcommittee hearing, the IRS is sitting on 13 million unprocessed tax returns and over 26 million tax returns that are waiting at the same time IRS phone service levels are near all-time lows, making it nearly impossible to reach an IRS agent for help with tax or audit matters. Please let me know in the comment section below if you are still waiting for your tax refund. Well, my lovely and fantastic friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very much for joining me here today. I greatly and truly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. The winner of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Mary Lowe. Congratulations, dear friend. If I have announced you as the winner, please check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Remember, everyone, I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. The next giveaway is scheduled for tomorrow, which is Sunday. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Thank you so much, my friends, and have a blessed and glorious Saturday.